I never had an abortion, but my mother did. She didn't tell me about it, but from what I pieced together after her death from a line in her FBI file, which my father, the old radical, had requested along with his own, it was in 1960. So like almost all abortions back then, it was illegal. The agent who kept her file wrote that she was in the care of a physician for gynecological problems that spring, which I like to think was his chivalrous way of protecting her from further investigation. But perhaps he too was in the dark and only put down what he knew. For a while I was angry at her, the way one is angry at the dead for keeping their secrets till it is too late to ask questions, and the way one can be angry at one's mother for having a life outside her child's can. I thought she owed me this bit of woman-to-woman -woman realism and honesty instead of, or at least in addition to, tales of the nine marriage proposals she had received by the time she met my father and falling in love with him at first sight and eloping with him three months later when she had just turned 21. Knowing about her abortion might have helped me. It might have given me a truer sense of life as a young, very romantic woman who had no idea what was what. When I ask myself why I have been so preoccupied with abortion rights for so long, I wonder if learning about my mother's abortion, its illegality, the fact that she didn't tell my father, the unknowability of her reasons or her feelings or the experience itself, I wonder if that's part of the answer. I find myself wondering, was whoever performed the procedure a real doctor? Was he kind to her, respectful? Did he do his best not to cause pain? Did she take someone with her? I remember her talking with her friend Judy about how another woman they knew had had a DNC, which was often a euphemism for abortion back then. So maybe her circle of women steered her to a good practitioner. Maybe her friend Judy sat in the waiting room, if there was a waiting room, and took her home in a taxi afterwards and made her a cup of tea. It would have been so wrong if my tender, fragile mother had had to go through that all by herself.